This is Xiaogan village in Anhui province. As you can see behind me is the harvest season and farmers are busy harvesting using machines. Could you believe it that 40 years ago there was nothing here and now thanks to China's reform in opening up policy farmers are harvesting crops twice a year. I have been told that the farmers will plant the seeds again in October and harvest the crop. This is Xiaogan village where it all started. 40 years ago, in 1978, 18 farmers in the village worked on communally owned farms decided to secretly sign a contract that divided the communally owned farmland into individual pieces. And this is called household contracts. They agreed to fulfill the government and commune quota of grain but keep any extra for themselves. So they don't have to stand the hunger. They signed their names or placed their thumb impression on a piece of paper. This simple document opened the path for China's reform and opening up policy. Because of China's reform and opening up policy, Xiaogang now looks more like a town than a village, with gleaming houses, paved roads, and fully equipped schools. What's more, farmers are now selling their produce directly to customers via e-commerce and companies involved in agribusiness and food production, such as Pan Pan Food Group, are opening the factories in the village. So 而且呢,对于周边的这个基地种植啊,接下来这个新农村的这个建设啊,胖胖呢,都会尽量多了来参与。因为有些,你比如说这些农产品来讲,胖胖本来就一直需要,更何况你比如说像小港的这个黑豆